Hello good day viewers, still on definite integrals. Here's our question for today. We are asked to find the area bounded by the curves y equal to x squared and y equal to the absolute value of x. As always, we are going to sketch them and see how they look like and find the points of intersection before we integrate. So first of all, I would like to sketch this one. The absolute value of x, you know, absolute value of x is a piecewise function. It depends on x x could be positive if and only if x is greater or equal to 0 and x could be negative if x is less than 0 so to graph this you know how the graph of x looks like um, we have something like this we have this so the graph of x you know it passes through the origin like this but because we are talking about absolute value ever to be to the top so we have one leg here that is for x and for the negative x it will pass through this we are talking about absolute values so all the values of y will be positive so we have the other one here something like this so see, this is the graph of the absolute value of x what about x squared it is going to be a parabola that takes a turn at the origin something like this so we would like to find the area between the two curves can you see this region we would like to find the area between these two regions and if you observe the two regions are symmetrical they have the same area so instead of finding the area from this point down to this point we can simply take um, the area between 0 to this point then we multiply by 2 as simple as that because we have two identical areas but we need to find the points of intersection the values of x at this point and how can we do that we can equate the equation the two functions together um, you know x squared can never be equal to negative x so let us compare x squared and x such that we're going to get this point whatever point we get here since they are symmetrical this will be the negative version of this so if i should take x squared and equate it to be equal to x it implies that x squared minus x is equal to zero you can factor out x you have x minus one inside this is equal to zero so x could be zero or what x equal to one so we have this point to be 1. Therefore, this point must be negative 1. And if you observe this uh, line, which is for x, remember this is a negative x, but we are going to consider this one, which is x, is above the curve, x squared. Therefore, uh, the area will be from 0 down to 1 of x minus the function below which is x squared with respect to x remember that this is just for this particular area but we're talking about the two areas because they are identical we multiply by two and hence this is said to be the total area um, if you integrate x it is going to be what x squared divided by two minus if you integrate this it becomes x to the power of 30 divide by 30 remember the boundary from 0 down to 1 the whole of this remember to multiply by 2 so now let us simplify and obtain our total area substitute the upper boundary wherever we have x we replace it with 1 so this is equal to 2 multiplied by the whole of 1 squared divide by 2 the minus 1 to the third power divided by 3 the minus the lower boundary meaning we should replace x's with 0 and everything will be 0 hence we don't have to do that this is 1 over 2 minus um, 1 over 3 because 1 squared is 1 and 1 to the third power is still 1 what is the LCM between them um, the LCM will be 6, right? Because 2 times 3 is 6. 
2 into 6 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 3 into 6 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. The whole of this multiplied by 2. And 2 can go into 6 exactly 3 times. So we have um, 3 minus 2 is uh, 1. Divide by 3 because 2 can go into 6 3 times. And hence, this is the total area uh, bounded by the curves x squared and absolute value of x. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.